What's going on guys? Welcome back to our series of Star Wars reviews. It's been a while, a um, few months. It's my fault. It's her fault. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> she has adulting stuff to do and I have nothing to do. But we're going to get through the last three Star Wars movies in the like week and a bit we have left until episode 8. So this is Empire Strikes Back, which is uh, referred to as the best movie in the Star Wars saga. Or for some people the best movie of all time. Is it you? It, Are you saying that? I I think it is the best Star Wars movie. It's not my favourite Star Wars movie though. We've had this conversation and for the record, his, I'm not going to spoil your favourite Star Wars movie. No. But I think he's kind of right. I think you. I think I agree with you. Wait, on oh, my favourite? Oh, that or, movie's, that was not my favourite. Oh, okay. But yeah, I yeah, agree yeah. that someone would consider it their favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm a lot, saying. A lot of people do. There's, I mean, this movie's kind of... It's perfect. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is probably going to be the shortest Star Wars review we've done because I I don't really... I have nitpicks, like tiny little nitpicks. Yeah. Like, my main question is, and I saw this in some video, you know, you know when um, Han, they're all at the Hoth base, and Han's there, and he's like, I've got to go pay off Jabba the Hutt, I've got to leave, and the general's like, you're a good fighter, Solo, I'd hate to lose you. And then he goes and lays, like, oh, please stay. He's like... Why didn't they just let him go pay off Jabba and come back? He goes, he pays off Jabba, he comes back to Hoth, he fights with the Rebellion. Why does that have to be on one or the other? That's true, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, I saw it in a video, I didn't come up with it either. Huh. I'm not that smart. <laughs> one of the um, critiques I used, to, I used to see around a couple of years ago now is uh, that the timelines between uh, what's happening with you know Han and Leia doesn't really match up with what's happening uh, with Luke and Yoda, because Luke and Yoda, how long is he spending there in comparison to how long Han and Leia are spending? They've never there? actually officially said. It's just, first of all, if Empire Strikes Back were released now, people would be hounding uh, the, the director to find out what the timelines were. People are hounding Pablo Hidalgo on Twitter to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. But. I mean, it's such a nitpick, and you can level that criticism at just about any film. Mm. Especially when set in space where you're just like, but what about light travel? Oh my god, is she actually older than him? Because she spent more time on this planet than him. It's like, you get into a lot of really minute details that don't matter. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, and speaking of Yoda, um, I was saying just before we started recording, you know, it's amazing, like, you know, he was a puppet. So if Yoda doesn't work, if that puppet doesn't work, doesn't look realistic, um, and the voice doesn't work and it just comes across as silly, then the movie's not that great. The movie's pretty much screwed at that point if Yoda doesn't work. I think it's, yeah, I would say... If Yoda doesn't work and Vader doesn't work, it's like, well... Well, think about Vader, like, they already knew Vader was going to work, more or less. Well, yeah, but he did have, I mean, like, he had more action in oh, this yeah, one. Oh, yeah, I know, okay, I get it. But, like... So with Yoda, I would think of it as almost as though like watching E.T. if you didn't believe that E.T. was, you know, an alien. Or yeah. If he didn't look real. If you didn't believe in Yoda, if you didn't have, weren't able to form some kind of connection to Yoda, this movie and like what happens in it with, with Luke would be lost. And so would the payoff in uh, Return of the Jedi. I think I said in the New Hope review that I was, I was about to say that that was my favourite Harrison Ford performance in a Star Wars movie. I rewatched Empire recently. This is the best Harrison Ford Han Solo performance, I think. I, th I agree. I've always. It could that. be tied with Force Awakens because Force Awakens, he he brought it. Um, but I that conversation between him and Leia in that mm. hallway, even though I was saying like, you know, why did why didn't she just let him go pay Jabba? Um, that whole you know, come on, you want me to stay because of the way you feel about me, <laughs> you know, you gonna uh, you weren't gonna let me leave without giving a goodbye kiss. I just soon kiss a Wookie. <laughs> I can arrange that. Like, the dialogue is perfect. His, mm -hmm. you know, this, this movie, it gave more to Han. Um, and I, I love it's it. It's actually also my favourite um, Carrie Fisher as Leia performance. I actually think that, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I really love her in A New Hope, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, she's, she's great in all of them. She's great in all of them. I just think in Jedi, she probably had less to do. Yes, that's true. I think... That was apparently because the director didn't like her or something. That's a rumor. Really? But yeah, but that's apparently what happened. Who doesn't like Carrie Fisher? Right? But I digress. But like, she, her line delivery 
and especially in all of her scenes with Harrison Ford, which is most of them, um, yeah. she's she just like pops off the screen like you just she's a charisma charisma machine in uh, Empire Strikes Back. Def I would say it's her best performance in anything, to be honest. In anything? Wow. Okay. I mean, well, yeah, that's it's, it's more of a meaty role in Empire than she's had in other movies. The only one that comes close is entirely nostalgia talking, but it's Blues Brothers. I, I like her in Blues <laughs> Brothers, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Um, let's go to um, Vader and Luke. Let's talk about that. It's the elephant in the room is the... We find out he's Dad Vader. I but mean, I love that whole that whole scene on Cloud City. Oh, yeah. You know, when they're freezing hard, the I love you, I know. The, um... Like, Vader's dialogue is perfection in mm. this movie like a lot of things but his dialogue's perfect you know all too easy and, <laughs> and all that stuff and then you get the the I am your father I love the backstory of that too like the uh, the director and uh, George Lucas had uh, a fake line in that script which was Obi-Wan killed your father yeah and then they told Mark Hamill and they were like well if someone leaks it we'll know because it'd be you <laughs> And then they had James Earl Jones read, I am your father, but they shot it with Obi-Wan killed you. I just think that's brilliant. It's a yeah. brilliant twist because, you know, it, it worked back then. It would not work now. Yeah, nah. Although I've been impressed with how, you know, especially Marvel have been, have managed to keep certain things under wraps, even yeah. when other things have come out, like Matt Damon and Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, and they've like edited trailers to yeah. keep things like specifically like that. There's a shot in uh, the Thor trailer. We're going off track here. Sorry. There's that thought of the... Sh uh, shot in the Thor trailer of like the Hulk and Valkyrie and Loki and Thor and they're walking up together on the bridge. Yeah. Not in the movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think in the movie I think it's just Loki and Thor and Valkyrie. It's no Hulk there. But anyway. So what else about Empire Strikes Back? So I mean Yoda, Vader, the, the cinematography in this movie is... Yes. That's something I want to bring beautiful. up. Beautiful. Yes. And especially, and this is the only time I'm ever going to say it. But George Lucas, when he went back and redid bits of Empire Strikes Back, he actually improved on the Cloud City stuff. It's the one he the touched those, the least. Yeah, it is, it is the one he touched the least, but what he did touch up, like, uh, Cloud City in the original cut was most, well, the original version was mostly just white walls, and it looked fine, but when you see the, uh, the, the city additions, and the ships. The, yeah, he just, he adds windows and you can see everything, and it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. And it the is. light catching their faces, it's expertly put in. I mean, I actually missed it when I rewatched the original on VHS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's funny because he considers Empire the worst Star Wars movie. I mean, look... Which is, yeah. like, I think it's just maybe a bit of bitterness that, you know, the, the response to the prequels, or he, he genuinely he dislikes Empire, which, that's fine, whatever, but like, yeah, you know, he picked the director to take over for that movie, so... Like, you can't really complain. I'm to just go with, I mean, George Lucas is a lot of things, and, but one of them was probably, I really like controlling things. And yeah, he it, had the least control it, in Empire. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to blame that. Jedi, he sort of ghost directed. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I love Empire so much. I love that scene where Vader is in the chair. And he's choking the Admiral Ozzel mm. through the um, <laughs> through the screen. You know, you have failed me here for the last time, Admiral. And I love that guy's acting too. The he's the Admiral with the he's got the mustache, and he's Lord Vader. We've come out of hyperspace, and we're preparing to. <laughs> I love I love the acting of all the um, Imperials who get choked out because it's so. I don't know. You can always you can tell like they're really trying really hard to yeah. fake it. And it, but it works so well for some reason. Mm. And you know, the, the shot of the helmet coming down, you see the back of his head. And I remember seeing Empire for the first time and being like, what is he? I didn't know what he was. I was like, what the hell? And you know, the- um, He is an egg. Yeah, the Admiral sees the back of his head and he's like, oh God, oh. <laughs> like, oh, what's that? Have you seen the, the Darth Vader being a jerk video? He keeps opening and closing <laughs> the thing. It's like a kinder surprise with Darth Vader and it's what it looks like. Oh, Lando, we gotta talk about Lando. Lando, my, uh, my first crush. Really? Your first celebrity. Okay, crush? well, my first crush was Marty McFly, but when I when I grew up a little bit and I, <laughs> I yeah, Lando. Smooth. Lando was sexy. Yeah, Lando is sexy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You slimy double crosser, no good swindler. Yeah, I love that. 
Do you, okay, uh, uh, here's one, uh, here's something I was going to ask you. Do you remember the first time you had that, you watched Empire with that, like, and finding out that the I am your father moment, or, like, because I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember seeing Empire, like, for the first time, but yeah. I just don't remember my reaction to that bit, but I remember the, when I saw Empire, I was, like, six, I suppose, and I didn't like it. I yeah. I didn't like it, and I think when you look at reviews from 1980 and stuff, they always keep saying it's not as good as Star Wars, or they call it an inferior sequel, and... Turns out it's one of the best sequels yeah, ever made. Yeah, exactly. You know, hindsight is 2020. Mm, yeah. But I think it's because, in a lot of ways, especially just tonally, it's very different from A New Hope. People don't like change, so you... Yeah, that's... It went a lot, you know, it started that trend of like the middle one is darker. Yeah, um, that you'd see in Indiana Jones and even Spy Kids has that. Spy Kids has it, Spider-Man, the, Spy the original Spider-Man trilogy has it. Yeah. Um, Thor, Ra Thor actually has it. If you look at the middle, the dark world, it's it's darker. Captain America has it. It's darker in the middle. Yeah. They all they all follow that. I Toy Story, Toy Story? No, Toy Story doesn't. Toy Story. Well, yeah, kind of. Toy Story 2 is a little dark. They're, they're all kind of a little dark. They're all kind that's, of a that's little Pixar. dark. Man. That's Pixar. Um, oh, the, um, the, the score. Once again, John Williams knocking it out of the park. Of course, John with, Williams. Um, is, he's possibly, royalty. Possibly the greatest Star Wars cue ever in the Imperial March. Mm. But I love Yoda's theme. Yeah. I love that theme and I love Yoda's sarcasm in this movie <laughs> with the, you know, I don't believe it. That's why you fail. And He's such a shit stirrer. I love that. You know, I'm not afraid. You will be. <laughs> I, you know, I, I love the genius of like, when Luke first discovers Yoda, you know, Yoda's being silly and just annoying him because it's funny. <laughs> and Yoda's a smart ass. Uh, throughout the entire saga, really. Mm. And then, you know, he reveals himself as I am, I am Yoda. And it's like, whoa, this little, this little, that, that whole lesson of size matters not. And, mm. um, I'm sure that made many men feel good. Size matters not. It makes me feel good. <laughs> um, so, and I, like the lesson, you know, Yoda was teaching Luke about, it's not about weapons. It's not about muscles. It's, yeah. it's about... I guess, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Really just the force. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's about what you believe almost. It flows through. flows through, you know, which is funny because like in the prequels, Yoda was all about that lightsaber. <laughs> I didn't mind lightsaber fighting Yoda. I love me some lightsaber fighting Yoda. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Empire is just a really fantastic film. And even when you can, even when there's like minor criticisms of it, you can you have to look at it as a whole. They're not even criticisms, they're just questions like why, yeah. like how long was Luke on Dagger before, which they've never officially answered. Why was Lando wearing Han's clothes That's so weird end? and it makes him less sexy. Do you know what though, I think uh, someone floated this idea that, that that the black vest and the white shirt and those pants, I don't know if he's wearing the same pants, but someone floated a theory that it's actually just the captain's clothes. It's not, they're not specifically Han's clothes. They're like, for that kind of ship, that's that kind, that's that uniform almost. Maybe, um, but it's still just, I or know, it's Han, so weird. I mean, because when Han was frozen, he didn't have the vest on, so maybe Lando was like, I'm taking that. <laughs> Even though Lando had the be like the most badass cape right. ever. Um, yeah, I, look, I, I love Empire. I really do. It's not my favourite Star Wars movie, um, which is going to get people mad, <laughs> and it gets her mad, and it, you know, it gets a lot of people I mad mean, when I say that. I, I mean, used to get mad about it, Yeah. and I still disagree, I still think that, I mean, I agree, like, it's okay that you don't, you, it's not your favourite. I think it's, I, I think you. it's the best one, the it, best, like, yeah, the, like it, best made Star Wars movie, <laughs> I, it's just personal favourites, because yeah, they're two different things, I understand. it's not my favourite. Yeah, I mean, I have the exact same thing. Yeah. But the, for, this is one of those occasions where, you know, unlike Indiana Jones, where the best one is uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, but my favourite is Temple of Doom. I'm sorry. I I actually think Last Crusade's the best one, but yeah. Actually, a lot of people do. It's really good. They're <laughs> Last good. Crusade is the best one, and is my favourite one, so. Okay. 
But Empire in Our Indiana Wars. Jones review series is coming soon, by the way. I would totally rewatch um, Indiana Jones with you just saying. But Empire is, in my opinion, the best one. I know a lot of people. Yeah, uh, no, it is. And it's also my favorite. I love to watch it. It's it moves along such a great brisk pace, and you're never bored during it. Even in Star Wars, like the first Star Wars, there are bits where you're like, after you've seen it, if, you know, fifty times. But Empire, I never get that. Empire is just a really well structured film. It's yeah, and it furthered the lore, it deepened our understanding of characters. It's yeah. like it did everything that you want in a sequel. Progress characters, mm -hmm. develop story. It ended it on a cliffhanger. Yeah. So you were like, what's gonna happen? Like they had to wait people yeah, you know, originally they would have to wait like three years for Return of the Jedi. Um yeah, so that's our review of Empire Strikes Back. Thank you very much for watching. Look out for our review coming up of Return of the Jedi. Um, and uh, yeah, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>